Summary of The Anti-Intellectualism of Kierkegaard by David F. Swenson This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Soren Kierkegaard, 1813-1855, a Danish thinker of originality and power, represents an anti-intellectualistic position, notable for precision of terminology, consistency, and the wealth and variety of concrete life problems, which it is made to illuminate. He is perhaps the first modern thinker of rank to perceive that an anti-intellectualist philosophy is not complete without essential recognition of the negative element in communication. He has worked out a logic of communication consistent with his own central position, and has given it artistic expression in various ways, in the form and style of his writings. The elementary proposition that reality has characteristics which a knowledge of it cannot as such assimilate receives further amplification and definition. The following propositions are characteristic. 1. The metaphysical and ontological have no existence. They are, but when they exist, they exist within the ascetic, the ethical, or the religious. No human being exists in metaphysical categories. 2. The static character of conception permeates the whole realm of logic. There are no actual logical transitions. All real transitions take place in the realm of the actual by means of a leap and constitute a breach of continuity. 3. The validity of thought in relation to existence does not mean its identity with existence. The particular as such cannot be thought, nor the contingent, nor the actual. 4. A skepticism which attacks the validity of thought can be escaped only through a new point of departure, by an act of will, a leap. 5. Truth, in the sense of positive objective knowledge, is unattainable. All such knowledge, sense knowledge, history, metaphysics, is either an approximation or a hypothesis. It is not essential, for it does not express the knowing subject's essential condition in existence. Mathematics does not deal with reality, and the relation of the logical to reality is hypothetical. 6. Truth as essential knowledge is ethical and ethical religious knowledge of the self. The only reality which the knower grasps directly is his own ethical reality. All other reality he knows only in the form of possibility, essentially in the form of an impartial balancing of alternative possibilities. 7. The transition from the ideal, the possible, to the actual, the sense for the historical, is an act of will. It is belief or faith. 8. The truth is a subjective condition of the individual. To know the truth, objectively, is to be in error. To be the truth, subjectively, is to know the truth. 9. Existence, life, is essentially striving, transition, not for an unattainable goal, but to realize the individual's own eternal self. At this goal he may constantly arrive, but in it he cannot remain at rest as long as he exists. 10. 
to exist is to solve contradictions not once for all or by means of speculative thought but through passion and pathos these subjective thinkers passionate interest in himself is the greatest possible antithesis to the objective thinker's lofty disinterestedness at the same time the latter since he nevertheless exists exists in distraction and is therefore comical end of summary of the anti-intellectualism of kierkegaard by david f swenson from the philosophical review edited by j e crichton volume twenty five nineteen sixteen